Good morning. Back at the beginning of COVID in March 2020, like for so many people, my calendar was completely scrubbed. And it didn't take long to realise that this was the time to look through that list of projects and ideas that up until then I just hadn't found time for. One of those ideas I called the bike pod, a comfortable little cocoon that I could tow behind a trike, a bike, an elliptico, anything on two or three wheels on the road. And it would just make setting up camp that little bit easier and more comfortable as well as getting away in the morning without having to pack down your wet hammock tarp or tent. So I called my friend Scott. Scott's an engineer. He's been a member of the Yes Tribe for years. He loves getting his hands dirty and he's got this amazing mind. So I pitched the idea to Scott and thankfully said yes. Today, Scott has come to Big Sky Hideaway and he's got the first prototype. Look at this. I know. Now in my head, this is always called the bike pod. Have you got a different name for it? I think it's Dave. (laughs) The <laughs> bike pod works, yeah. This is awesome. So this is the main chassis. It's uh, built of timber with nice little 20 inch wheels. It's got storage at the back. The size to take a two litre water bottle in through the gap. You've then got accessible dry storage inside. Up from there, all the way up to the nose is dry storage, fully sealed off from the outside and accessible from inside. It's got a slightly sprung bed section. And then on the front, it's got a pair of adjustable legs. So they hang up out the way and then you can adjust them in height to suit different slopes so you can level the platform. So having had this in its transport configuration, so it's in the back of my car, just about, I'm now going to assemble it and we'll see if Dave will fit inside. It went together really nicely in my bedroom I then had to disassemble it and ship it up here. And uh, it was always the worry I was going to damage it in transit and it wouldn't quite go back together like the giant jigsaw that it is. I've just sewn all the panels together and sealed them. So there's a caulking material between all the seams and the cable ties effectively actually like, act like stitching and hold the panels together. I'm now just tidying up the edges, so taking the ends of the cable ties off so they don't dig into anything and it looks neat and tidy. It's come together really nicely. I'm, I'm quite happy with it, yeah. Okay, I'm heading over to the barn. Scott's been hard at work all day and he tells me it's almost time for the reveal. (laughs) I'm excited. It looks really, really cool from the little that I've seen. I wonder whether I can fit inside (laughs) or whether I can tow it on a trike. (laughs) Big moment. Wow, dude, good job. Thank you. This looks so, so cool. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah, it's come out really well. It's really solid. Right, it's not hooked up yet, but no. before we get going, we'd love to try inside. Nice simple door. Look at this. Okay, so I guess I shouldn't put my weight. No, it will tip up a little bit if you're not careful. I need to put a back stand on it, really, but in front of the axles and you're good. I fit! Yeah. That's and so cool! You should be able to sit up and still have headroom. Unless you're much, much taller than I am. That's good. That is really, really cool. There's a nice little echo in here too. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait to spend a night in this. So I guess the plan is to box these out and yes. have a little bit of like a Storage stuff. and stuff, yeah. That's really nice. Space for potentially put a little gas bottle stove in there. Obviously I wouldn't cook inside, cook outside, but if it's there it's nice and easy in storage. My question is, yeah. where does the sink go? Uh, you can put a sink the other side. <laughs> oh, so there's a little hatch in yeah. there, so that comes up. Yeah. That's and it amazing. goes from just in front of the wheels all the way forward at the width of the chassis. Scotty, so I'm so impressed. Space. Just don't overfill it. It'll make cycling up hills much harder. I don't travel with that much stuff anyway. Well, moment of truth now. I guess we've got to hook it up. Yeah, let's hook it up and go for a ride, shall we? See that it toes. And we need to sort of door lock. But all right. Yeah. So it's got a nice simple adaptable hinge so it'll take corners and bumps. It's as simple as pull the pin out, roll the bike back. There we go. Alright. Flip over the bottom. And then we need to fold the legs away. Oh wow. Here we go. I want to go on an adventure. <laughs> Trikey. There you go. <laughs> wow. 
tearing apart. <laughs> Got ourselves a bike pod. That works, buddy. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Alpacas, what do you reckon? That's so cool. What do you think, MZ? I think it's awesome. You could have a little. Velcro bit where you can pop your iPad and sit and watch a movie. <laughs>